Okay, bbay 40 back with another gaming video. I know I haven't done one of these in a while. Um, but I've been playing this Michael Zombies Undead Nocturne for over a month now. Um, I have to say I still haven't learned everything, but I've learned a lot more than when I first started this uh, particular map about a month ago. And I wanted to share that with uh, my fellow gamers here. So... Now starting off, I'll cover some of the basic stuff that I've covered in my previous videos. That's how to build the uh, power switch and power switch locations for the different pieces. There's three different parts you have to find. So the first part's down here on the first floor. And a lot of times it's in this room or it's over here on the shelf or sometimes it's back here around the corner over here. But see, it's not there in this particular time. So I gotta go find it. I gotta track it down somewhere. So, it's not over there on the tires, so i got to shoot this pot here, because sometimes it's right there in the pot. Not there. Not on the shelf. And so i got to shoot this pot. This is the last location right here, and there it was. It was in that pot there. And we kill some zombies along the way. Now what I've learned, uh, what I do now as opposed to before, I don't rely on weapons, uh, guns so much. Uh, I really have started enjoying uh, using melee weapons. Like in the first round here, you just you hit the letter V as in Victor. And the letter V will bring out your knife or your melee, and you can kill the zombies. Especially in the first round here, very easy to kill the zombies with just one swipe of your of your knife. And then I just kind of accidentally hit it since it's right below my F key. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go upstairs and get the second part, which is in this particular closet right here. You can see it right there. And I'll show you where it is. Sometimes there's only two locations on the second floor for the second part of the power switch. So these guys are coming at me here, so I gotta take them out with my knife again. Second round takes two swipes to kill them. So I lunge forward and bounce back so they don't hit me. You just gotta practice that. You know, if you play on a computer or ASWD keys, you know, just W and S, forward and backwards. I lunge forward, swipe, then pull back. And uh, you notice sometimes when you swipe them, it kind of knocks them back a little bit. So it gives you a little time to re regroup and, and lunge forward again and hit him a second time. Now round three, it takes three swipes. So what I'm trying to do now is build up 2,500 points because I want to go get the big knife on the wall upstairs. The big knife is awesome. It, it kills with one swipe all the way through round 11. So I don't even bother with going to the mystery box or pulling any gun off the walls. I just go, I go get that knife now. Now I got my 2,500 points. I just got to get around these zombies. They're all coming down the stairway there. So I got to run around, try to bring them away from the stairs. So I can run up there and get the big knife. The only one zombie I can run right past him. And there it is right there. The Bowie knife. You want to get this thing as quick as you can. That's what I recommend now. As you can see, it just takes down these zombies, no problem. And you can do this all the way through round 11. Once you get past round 11, it takes two swipes to bring them down. And there's the other switch there. That's one of the locations right there. It just happened to be outside the uh, stairway this time for the third part to the power switch. And there's two locations there at the bottom of that stairwell. And there's two locations up in that room upstairs where you could possibly find that last piece to the power switch. I think I'll go over those here in this video. I'll show you those again too. So just rebuilding walls, it kind of slows the zombies down coming in, gives me more time to fight different zombies as they're coming at me. But now I got the big bowie knife, it don't really matter too much. I can take them out wherever they are, wherever I go, just walk around, just keep slicing them. Very easy to do. So it's fun, I mean all the way through round 11, just, you just walk around just swiping all over the place, <laughs> killing the zombies with a big knife. Now, um, I'm going to cover that thing about the ray gun again. You know, someone posted in one of my videos that you can get the ray gun at round 10, which is still true. And it turns out, I've noticed more often than not, that the first two people who open the box in round 10 will both get a ray gun. But after that, it doesn't seem to show up. Now, I've actually seen people get the ray gun as early as round 5 in other matches. So, it's not you don't always have to wait to round 10. But... Um, my favorite combination now, and actually this, the Bowie knife and this other gun I'm going to show you, the P99. Oh my gosh, um, i got to thank my friend Gage 
for uh, getting me hooked on the Bowie knife and the P99. It's actually, uh, it's a pistol, kind of like the starter pistol, only it's a little better. But what happens to it when you get it uh, pack-a-punched, it gives you a laser sight, although it, it's just for looks only because the laser's not lined up with your actual uh, um, crosshairs. You see the crosshairs I got for my pistol right there? The P99, when you get it tapped, it gives it a, a laser sight. You'll see it in some players. you see it with some players using it in the game. This long blue light just sticks out from the gun. It's, everybody can see it. Everybody and their brother. I mean, it's really bright and sticks way out. But it's not lined up with your crosshairs. So if you use this, you got to be careful not to aim with the laser sight. Because the latest laser sight is off quite a bit. You want to stick with the crosshairs. And this, what's really disappointing about it, though, is that you don't see the crosshairs unless you're moving around. All you see is this little bitty dot. So this, I'll show the other location behind that box there. And sometimes it's right here, that, that power switch, the third part, and sometimes it's on this shelf. So those are the four locations. So anyway, now I'm going to concentrate on getting my colas. And when, when I get the P99 papped up, I'll talk about it some more. But it's extremely powerful for a little pistol. I mean, all the way into like round 20, 25 even. It'll take out a zombie with just one shot. And that's better than any other gun. Even the ray gun can't kill with one shot in round 25. So, I mean, it's a pretty awesome weapon. I highly, highly recommend trying to get that P99 out of the box and get it packed. I just wish it had a little bit more ammo. I think it only holds 312 rounds total. When you get it packed and punched, you get 12 in the uh, chamber and 300 in reserve. But it's a damn awesome gun. You'll see that later on in the game here. Now this video I'm going to run here is about an hour. Um, it's not the complete run that I did. I actually made it to round 32, but I actually had to leave. I, I couldn't keep going because I had a doctor appointment. <laughs> I had to quit for a video conference with my doctor. So, But I, I quit at round 32, which is my highest round in this game so far. And uh, this, was, this was actually a great run. I came very close several times in high rounds. And, very close to dropping, but I managed to survive, which is actually kind of proud of myself. <laughs> so I hadn't been that lucky in the past. So here I'm just going to, I'm holding the F key and just hitting the V key with a different finger. I'm trying to kill all these zombies as they're coming at me as I'm trying to rebuild this wall. So I'm building up some points. I'm not even going to go to the mystery box yet. Because I just want to get some points so I can get all my colas. I don't need any guns, but since it's insta-kill, I'll just use my pistol to take some of these zombies out. Now let's go back to my knife. Yeah, the Bowie knife is awesome. awesome. It's really great. Another thing my friend Gage showed me, I didn't realize uh, in the lighthouse map, you can use the ores in the box. It's like, I think, 3,000 points to open up that, that cabinet. That has the the rowing ores and the ores are another 1500 points but I tell you they're worth it they're very strong at beating up the zombies more uh, I mean much better than any guns I mean I actually used the ores into like round 25 in the lighthouse because you can just keep knocking the zombies back you can send them flying with those ores in the lighthouse map which is really cool so you can keep those zombies under control for quite a while. I mean, even in high rounds in the 20s. Just using a melee weapon. Now you see the bomb popped up there, the nuke? I'm not going to grab it because you can only get a certain amount of points from a nuke. You get a lot more points from killing the zombies. So you just want to save the nuke till the end of the round. If it's a low round, you just kill the zombies. Either with your melee weapon or with your pistols or whatever. And just kill them all first and then hit the nuke and you get the extra points then. See, I just get some more points jumped up there. So now I'm just going to see if I can get myself... Um, so my two weapons I really like to get, obviously the ray gun, for number one. And number two is the P99, or vice versa. I mean, the ray gun I use to kill the boss zombie that comes out, the Panzer. The, uh, I think the, M90, the P99 would actually do some damage to it also, but I only shot it a few times. I haven't tested it out. I need to try that one time is get a P99. Get it pack punched and see if I can kill the uh, Panzer 
with just the uh, P99. But anyway, you see, I got the uh, I got the bazooka, the RPG, instead of a ray gun. Those are the only two guns you can use to open up that door that to blow out that wall. Either the bazooka or the or the uh, ray gun. And it's the same thing with killing the cat, the Michael statue, shooting it out there out in the open. Only the ray gun and the bazooka can can kill or knock that cat off its perch and bring the uh, bring the pack a punch down. So I'm going to run off since I got a lot of points. I'm going to get myself my uh, my other colas. Maybe hit the box again, but let's see. So yeah, I'm going to get rid of the bazooka now. It did its job. I just wanted to open up that door, I blow out that wall, so I can get up there and, and charge up the. Uh, charge up the generator plus it's beginning around 10 so I got my ray gun you see the balance changing from 9 to 10 so the first gun out of the box round 10 ray gun <laughs> let me see what else I can grab since I got a few points here to go along with my uh, go along with my ray gun I want something better than this little uh, FG 42 it's not a very good gun in this game but uh, since I got my knife, I really don't particularly care. I'm just going to keep using my knife. It's only round 10. I'm going to try to drag these zombies back upstairs so I can use them to power up the generator. Bring as many as I can up here. And you have to kill the zombies beyond this threshold, beyond this doorway. You have to kill them up here. You see how the zombie juice just shoots up there into the generator? The collector? you got to kill 150 zombies to power up the generator. Now what I've learned and what I recommend... Uh, if you don't want the boss to come out, don't shoot the Michael statue until after you complete filling up the generator. You want to fill the generator first. And usually you can get the generator filled by like round 13 or 14, or maybe 15 at the latest. You want to get that generator filled. But after you fill up the generator, then you can go shoot Michael off his perch and bring the teleporter down. And depending how long you wait, like if I uh, if I decided to shoot Michael, say round 14, then you get the Panzer. The boss will come out like round 18. But if you wait and hold off on shooting Michael to like round 17 or so, then you won't see the Panzer till like round 22 or 23. So the longer you wait on shooting Michael, the longer it takes for the for the boss zombie to come out. And there's my P99. That's the guy that I really wanted. And he's not very strong right now because he's not pack-a-punched yet. So, and the other gun I really like is the LSAT. But I'm going to stick with the Browning this time. Since I got it already, I'm just going to stick with the Browning. It's only round 11, so I can still keep killing the zombies with just one swipe with that Bowie knife, which is really awesome. And get that get that generator filled up and don't grab that nuke until the end of the round now hold off you know attempting it is very tempting to go run up and grab it right away but you just end up killing all the zombies and you don't get very many points for them you get a lot more points if you just kill them with your weapons so just kill them first and then take out the nuke and get those extra points from the nuke so I want to go back here because I want to try to get the LSAT. I really like the LSAT better than the Browning or the MG42 because it holds more ammo. It holds 150 rounds when you get it pack-a-punched where the Browning only holds 125. So the LSAT holds more ammo. I just like it better. So anyway, I'm going to uh, try to get it. But I don't end up getting the LSAT this time. I'm just watching for more zombies coming out here. So. I'm going to give up on that just stick with my browning for this particular run. Got to rebuild this window because the, uh, the zombies come in here when you're trying to cover the stairwell. And I decided just to stand here. And what I'd like to do also is try to line zombies up in a row like this. Because the bullets you shoot at the first one go through the first one and they hit the zombies in the back. So you can take out more zombies by trying to line them up. Rather than picking them off one at a time. You can save ammo that way. But of course you can only let them get just so close. And you got to kill them. <laughs> so just a couple left here. You just take them out really quick with my ray gun. 
Now another thing I like to do, which I've watched other players do, is grab these bouncing Bettys, or Bennies, whatever they are sitting over here. Grab these, uh, grab these bombs you see on the, that uh, chalkboard right there. Now what I've seen, you, know, you guys might want to try this. I don't think it works with the Bowie knife. But I've seen people jump through here, uh, kind of glitch into this little spot over here in the corner. Which other people can do, i just never been able to do it myself. <laughs> I've tried it a few times, I just, I suck at glitching in this game. There's a couple spots where you can glitch like that. So I'm up to 124, I should be able to fill it up this round. Just gonna stand here and kill these zombies here and just shoot any to come up with that, that spawn right there. Round 13. Looks like I'm going to fill it up here at round 13. Here it goes. I just filled up the generator. You hear the sound when it got filled. Got full. So now I can decide when am I going to shoot Michael. And get, uh, get him off his perch and bring the generator down. So I guess I decided to do it right away. Get lined up. He's sitting right out there. You hear me crawl, he cries out when you shoot him. And the, the truck, there's like a old pickup truck that, that the uh, Pack-a-Punch is sitting on. It kind of rolls down and dumps the Pack-a-Punch into the teleporter. Now I just got to turn it on here. I got all my perks already, so I'm going to close off these, uh, close off these uh, spawns to keep the zombies from coming in, coming in and attacking me while I'm getting my guns Pack-a-Punched. So what I'm going to do, since all the zombies are coming now, I'm just going to go do a little zombie training. Take them out in large groups. And then go get my guns pack-a-punched. So I've got all my uh, I've got all my perks already. So I'm just going to run them around here and get them in a large group and take a whole bunch out in one shot. Save ammo. The only thing I gotta have to uh, do some research on is finding the Easter eggs in this uh, in this game. I think there's something you can get if you shoot all the pots, all the clay pots, and break them all. I don't know. I've tried. I've, I've broken all the clay pots. I've shot all the barrels outside and exploded all the barrels, and, and nothing happened. <laughs> I guess I just don't know what to do. I'm not good at figuring out Easter eggs. I usually have to watch a video to figure out what I'm supposed to do. That's just something I haven't done yet. I'm going to put that on my agenda <laughs> and write it on a list of things to do. But there has to be something to it because you can shoot and break all these clay pots throughout the whole map. And you see there's like even a little one sitting on the table there and a big one over next to the pillar. You can break those and shoot them and break them. So now it's just a matter of I shot Michael at uh, 14 I guess. 13 or 14. And now the the Panzer, the first time he comes out, is around 18. Now if I had waited and kept shooting the zombies through round 16 or 17 and then shot Michael, then I would not see the Panzer till around 21 or 22. So the longer you wait to shoot Michael, the longer it takes for the for the boss zombie to come out. So take advantage of these insta-kills and keep an eye on it because uh, when it runs out you won't be able to knife the zombies as easily. <laughs> you gotta make sure you uh, take full advantage of your insta-kills when you can. Use your knife, use your melee weapon. So I'm down to a few more zombies. I'm gonna go ahead and pack a punch my big barn in here. And then we're gonna do the P99 and I'll show you how that works. Now the P99 turns into Mr. Wick, <laughs> which is an appropriate name for it. It's pretty cool. You see, one shot, it took out two zombies. It becomes a surprisingly strong gun. Now look, you see the the laser pointer? It's not lined up with my crosshairs. You see that? Now I'm going to get some bouncing beddies. I'm going to plant them in front of this spawn over here. So it'll let me know when there's a zombie here and it'll kill any zombie that shows up there. Now you see that? My, you got to use that little dot. you got to aim with that little dot. Don't use the laser pointer. The laser pointer is not lined up with your sight. 
So line up your sight. Don't forget about the laser pointer. It's just a, it's just something that makes the gun look cool. It really doesn't work right. It's not lined up properly. But you can see how strong this gun is, Mr. Wick. This is just that little P99 pistol. And it takes out two or three zombies in, at a time if they're lined up. Especially headshots. And I started off with uh, 300 rounds in reserve and 12 in the chamber. And it reloads very quickly. So all you gotta keep doing is hitting that R key. When you start to get low on ammo, you know, shoot a couple of zombies, make sure you got just a, a second or two to reload. That's all you need. And just sit here and pick off these zombies with this uh, P99. It comes around 17. It's one more round before the boss comes out. And uh, I'm going to show you. And this, uh, I mean, the key to killing the boss, honestly, number one is have a ray gun. Get it pack a punched. Because what what helps with the ray gun is the splash damage. And you can really use that to your advantage when killing the boss zombie. The splash damage works great. <clears throat> And what I mean by that is you shoot the gun at the floor. Not necessarily straight at the at the boss or at the zombies. You shoot it at the floor and it bounces up and it splashes up and kills everything around it. It damages everything around. And it works wonders when killing the uh, killing the panzer, killing the boss zombie. So there's another bomb. This time I've already got the generator packed up. I mean, I already got it filled. I already got my guns packed punched. So now you want to hit those nukes as quick as you can to kill all the zombies. Get yourself moving through the rounds. So what I want to do is close off these uh, spawns so I don't have zombies coming up behind me. It happens all the time. <laughs> I'm sitting there waiting for the panzer and the damn zombies come up behind my back. I was surprised it didn't come out yet. See, the zombies are getting stronger now. It takes two bombs to uh, kill them at the spawn. But my little Mr. Wick here is still doing a great job. Still taking them out, two or three zombies in a row. And there's another bomb. I'm going to get that. That was actually a pretty quick round. It went quicker than I expected. So I think I'm going to switch over to my Browning and use my P99, my Mr. Wick in reserve. But let's see if he, he's out now. Round 19. Okay. So I'm going to try to close up these spawns if I have time. See the zombies just come right in there. Here he comes already. So what I do is I run up here. I use both third floor levels. As long as I can keep shooting him, I should try to get as many shots in as I can as I'm running. I use this slide here, get down out of the way, get away from him, and run past all the zombies to get out in this big room over here where you can run around, gather up some zombies in a group, and take them all out in a group if you can. Now what the uh, boss does, I have to open up this doorway here, open up this passage. It's one of the lines of escape I use. It's going up there. Now the other option is you can run up on the other third floor level up that other stairwell. But I like this one. You see, watch what he does. He's stuck here for some reason. So I'm going to shoot him and shoot him and shoot him. Try to get him as much as I can. And he's coming after me now. <laughs> I got to run. Don't try to stand your ground with him. It takes so many shots to take him out. You just don't know how many it's going to take. And more than likely, he'll get you before you get him. And that was kind of funny. He ended up on top of a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to keep your distance. You got to keep moving. Keep running away from him. All it takes, I found over and over and over again. I just wait one second too long, and he ends up taking me down. He'll catch me with his suction cup and reel me in. I gotta watch out. He's gonna shoot over here and get me. It's actually a lot longer than you might think. So here he comes. 
Yeah, I'm doing my just the ray gun just has so much splash damage. It really works great in taking him down. I got two zombies left. I'm gonna take this one out. Here he comes. I ended up getting him. I finally hit him with enough rounds of my ray gun. I finally killed him. And now I've got the uh, the stamina color. Get the extra speed. That's the first thing that you get. And everybody in the game gets it. And anybody else who's in there with you will get the same perk. The same stamina. Which is going to allow you to run faster. So now once he's come out, it's going to be every three rounds he'll be back again. So in round 19 he came out. I'll see him again. I'm pretty sure I'm going to see him again in round 22. You see, Mr. Wick here is still really strong. Still taking him out with one shot. It's a great gun. It's my favorite gun now, I have to admit. Next to the ray gun, I guess. It has very fast, I mean, single shot. It's not like a machine gun. You have to keep hitting your, hitting your mouse button, your, your trigger, just fire it. But you can fire it really quick if you hit your mouse really quick. Now what happened to me in this game too was I was... Gosh, I was around 31 or so. And all three weapons. I had drained the ammo on all three weapons. I completely ran out. I had to go to the box and grab another gun, whatever came out, and get it, get it pack-a-punched so I could keep fighting. I was running out of, uh, they were just were not getting any ammo drops. After round 30, just no ammo drops. And I did have some other players came in. And they were they were decent players, they were pretty good. Um, I think there's uh, some good players out there who just wait. <laughs> they, they search through the servers, you know. When you come into the game, you can search the server. And you can look at what games are active and how many people are in that game and what round they're on. And I think these players just look and look down through the service till they find a, a very a high round server where someone's at like round 25 or higher. Because the players started coming in at around 25, I think it was. These are the guys who like a, like a challenge <laughs> to be able to come in at round 25 and survive. So I'm going to wait, use up some of my ammo before grabbing that ammo box. I think there's a uh, carpenter right behind it. And I'm not sure, that could be why I wasn't getting any ammo drops at high rounds, because I got them all in low rounds. <laughs> and I've been, I've been known to not even pick up an ammo box in some games because of that fact that I think if you use up all your ammo boxes in early rounds that you may end up uh, not getting any in the high rounds. So now it's round 22. Let's see if the boss has come out. I'm expecting him to come out. Yep, here he comes. Round 22. So it's every three rounds. Once he shows up, every three rounds he'll be back again. So I can hit him as many times as I can before I run. But don't hang around here in his sights, because he'll get you with that suction cup and reel you in. <laughs> so just run, run, run. Run over to this other room here. And this worked great this time. This worked great for me. Now I've got to get myself a little distance and reload. And then take out some of these zombies. There's just too many zombies. They all get in the way and they all attack me while the, the pans is chasing me down. And if you stay down here on the first floor, you watch, he ends up running over and dropping down that, see, he dropped down that, uh, the, the hole in the wall, in the floor. He came down that way. That's generally what he likes to do. If you stay down there on that first floor, he'll drop down that, uh, that opening in the floor. There he is again, I just gotta run. I just gotta stay away from him. I'm gonna use my, uh, my stamina, my speed to get away from him. You gotta keep your distance from him. That uh, 
his suction cup that he throws out there and reels you in is longer than what you may think it is. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, I'm gonna take some shots at him through the through the grating, the fence. See, he's already dropped down, so I'm gonna just run. Gotta keep my distance. You gotta keep your distance. Just keep running. Now I don't want to waste all my uh, all of my uh, ray gun ammo, so I'm gonna use my little P99 here a little bit. Here he comes. Get in a couple shots and run. <laughs> I think I actually killed him there. No, he's still active. I can hear him running. Now since I'm, you know, over here, not too many zombies left now. I've killed most of the zombies. See how great this gun is? It's shooting all the way through, all the way down that hallway to the other side of the, of the map and killing zombies with this gun. That gun is great. I really love that P99 now. That's going to be my number one weapon from now on, next to the ray gun. You got to stay out of his view. He's got you with that grappling hook. I can't forget if I kill him here. I'm not going to take a chance to find out. I'm going to run. Yep, I did get him. That one last shot finally got him. Now you're just going to get an ammo box. Recharge ammo. So that's the second time I managed to kill the boss. Second time in a row. So now I think I'm going to switch to my browning. Everything's maxed out now with ammo. Just got an ammo box. So now to stick with my uh, my browning. Enjoy the music in the background. <laughs> so this is it basically. I like staying up here. If you have a couple of people up here, you can take turns guarding the stairwell and guarding that spawn. I did that in another video with my friend Gage, and we ended up going to round 32 together. I should say my friend, uh, I'm sorry, my friend uh, DJ Brads. Yes, I did it with Brads. We went to round 32 together, and we took turns here guarding the stairwell or guarding the spawn. But I did have a good run with Gage before too. When I first first met him, first uh, first friended him in the game, we also went to round thirty or thirty-two. And I've also started staying back here too, like I did earlier in this game, this match, because um, I can I'm very close to the spawn right here, and I can just turn and shoot the, any zombie that comes up with the spawn, real quick and easy. That's round 23 down though. Boss came out in 22, so we'll see him again in round 25. It's every three rounds. Once he shows up, it'll be every three rounds he comes back. You may start seeing some other players coming here shortly. It's already up at round 24. Now I also noticed, I think if you have three or more players in the game, the third time the zombie comes out, there'll be two of them, two bosses. If you have multiple players in the game, you end up with two bosses sometimes. And sometimes even earlier rounds, if, if you have like four or five or six players in the game, like a full server, you start seeing the boss, you start seeing two bosses, like the second time they come out. <clears throat> As if one isn't bad enough. Yeah, because I was in a game last night with a couple friends, and we were seeing two bosses coming out with just three of us in the game. <clears throat> I mean, really, one of them is bad enough. I mean, you have to have two of them. It's tough to keep track of two bosses coming at you. Because <laughs> they, they can separate, you know, and be on opposite sides of the building. They get a lot harder to avoid, a lot harder to stay away from. So I'm using my browning until I run out of ammo, get low on ammo, and then I just switch over to my uh, my Mr. Wick here. So 
It's a great gun for doing my John Wick strategy. So the boss came out 19, then 22, and now he's coming back out in 25. So I'm going to close off these spawns first and get ready for him. I'm going to get some shots in before he runs up the stairs here. Let's see where he, uh, where he spawns in. He's going to spawn in up there, so I'm going to use some, see I'm shooting my ray gun, getting some splash damage on him before he even comes up here. Get myself all reloaded. Get a few shots in before I run down the slide. Now I don't want to waste a lot of ammo just shooting individual zombies, but I have to because I have to get through this doorway. <laughs> get myself reloaded. Do once around here and try to take out a bunch of zombies if I can. Because there's just so many of them. And what sucks is you get higher rounds, they get stronger and stronger. It takes more and more shots to take these zombies down. You end up wasting a lot of ammo on the zombies instead of on the boss. He took a shot over here this way, so I'm, I'm gonna, since he's just stuck there, kind of, I'm going to get some shots in and run like a madman to <laughs> get away from him. Get myself some distance. Here he comes. Got to get back down the slide here. Get away from him. Just got to hit him every now and then. Just a few shots. A few at a time. And eventually they all add up and they do they take their toll on the uh, boss but the key is to keep your distance just keep running so here he comes again now I, what I don't know is if he can pull me through this fence you see I'm just beating him and beating him and beating him here he's kind of stuck there in the doorway it seems I got him here he got stuck in the doorway and ended up taking him down don't know why he got stuck there and I don't know what that other cola just did for me because I already had the, I already had the stamina perk. Because it looked like a stamina cola. You know, one might be cool. I haven't seen this in any Roblox game that's based on Call of Duty. If you actually play the Call of Duty in the Zombie Chronicles or the Zombie games, they have this other cola that's kind of cool, which is a spider web. When a zombie hits you, it shoots out these spider webs over the zombies and kind of freezes them, gets them stuck in a spider web, and mobilizes them so you can then shoot them. That'd be something cool to that. I'd like to see that cola added to uh, one of these games sometime. They got every other one but that one that I've seen. I think they call it the Black Widow, or the Widow Perk. So I'm expecting another player should be showing up here any minute. It makes things very interesting. <laughs> Get some other players in here. I have to, uh, I do end up reviving them a few times because, uh, you know, they come in fresh at round 25, 26, 27. It's kind of difficult to survive in such a high round. And you gotta remember to keep reloading, keep an eye on how much ammo you have in your chamber. But I love this Mr. Wick. Obviously he's named after John Wick. <laughs> it's really a great gun, very, very strong. Through round 26, I'm still taking zombies out with one shot with this gun. There's no other gun that can do that that I can think of at this level. Except maybe the RPG can kill zombies with just one rocket. So he came out 25. We're gonna see the we're gonna see the boss again at 28. To get my Browning reloaded here. Checking my stats. Not really a lot of headshots compared to kills, but I've been doing a lot of knifing, a lot of melee kills, and also using the ray gun. You can't get ray, you can't get headshots with the ray gun. So
I like that. I like it when the nukes come out in high rounds. It gives me time to reload my gun. You want to take advantage of any pause in the game to reload your gun. And jam into the music again. <laughs> Next round, we're gonna have the uh, the boss. That's what I remember now. That some of the guys showed up in the middle of the boss round, 28. I think that's pretty typical um, for any match here in this Undead Nocturne. The boss always comes out in those rounds. 19, 22, 25, 28, then 31, and so on. Every three rounds. So coming up in 28, I'm going to get these spawns boarded up again. And I need to switch over to my ray gun. We'll see where he spawns in this time. He's down the other end again. He's not showing up right here. Sometimes he spawns right there. So I'm going to get some shots in before he starts running over here. I got him to shoot out his uh, grappling hook so I can get a few more shots in. Reload my gun and get ready for him to come up the stairs and get a few more shots in. And run. <laughs> Just run, run, run. <laughs> I'm going to get over here. No zombies. I'm going to reload. Make sure I get my ammo capacity at maximum. Close up some spawns when I can. Group up some zombies. See if I can take a bunch out here. My splash damage is getting me. See, he jumped and he went down through that floor, the hole in the floor again. He just missed me. You can see that thing shoot out there. <laughs> he just missed me and I got a few more shots in his splash damage. I need to try to conserve my ray gun ammo, but he's coming too quick, so I gotta take some more shots on him. Get some more shots in before I go down the slide. And just run. Run, run, run. Couldn't get through there without getting run into a zombie. I almost died there. Being very, very, very close. Now I have the uh, quick revive, which I think revives me a lot quicker. I'm not sure where he is right now. I think he might be stuck again. So there he is. He gets some more shots in. That time he jumped over the stairwell there. And try to come after me because I was actually on the stairs if I had stayed down the first floor he would have gone through that crack in the floor the hole in the floor get a few more shots in anytime I can before running just take a couple shots and run that's the key you got to be running all the time when that damn uh, boss comes out you got to take advantage of the dis get to get distance on him not, not give him time to line up and, and, and kill you. See, I'm on the stairwell again. He's going down the stairwell. I need to find my way out of here. <laughs> Alrighty, he should be close to dying here, hopefully. I'm not going to take a chance. you got to run. Don't stand there too long. Don't give him a second to grab a hold of you and kill you. I'll take some of these guys out with my uh, Mr. Wick here. I gotta figure out what happened to him. I don't know if I killed him yet. Where is he? There he is. I think he's stuck in the doorway, doorway again. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna run. So here's the first new player. This guy actually was really good. I don't think he went down the whole time I was in here. And if I stayed and kept shooting, I would have gone down. Because the splash damage would have got me. I had to run. We got him. Got him that time. And there's my ammo box I needed. Because I was almost completely out of ray gun ammo. <clears throat> so he was lucky. He kind of came in at the right time. Right at the end of that round. After I had killed all the zombies. <laughs> There's only a few zombies left to kill. So he's running off rebuilding doors, uh, uh, spawns, and getting himself whatever points he can so he can hit the mystery box. These are brave souls to come in at round 28 in the game. 
But he's really good. I don't think I saw him go down once. This guy, K, I think his name was. Yeah, K. Actually, it could be a lady. <laughs> I'm saying a guy, but it could be a, a, a female player, a women player. Whoever it is, they're really good. They managed to survive and stay alive the whole time, I believe. I don't think they went down once. But some of the other players that come in now, they do end up going down. I have to rescue them. But this video is going to run out. Um, well, I've got another about 15 minutes here. A few more rounds. But I ended up just running out my uh, recorder. I use Xbox uh, recorder. Just you hit the... Uh, the Windows key and the Alt key and, and the R key on the keyboard and it'll start recording a video. But I have it set to only record an hour. I completely ran out of ammo on my browning here. I gotta switch over to Mr. Wick here. I love this gun. <laughs> I really gotta thank Gage for turning me on to this gun. And also for turning me on to the Bowie knife. I'm just over there shooting all the way over there, killing the zombies around K as she's, as she's at the uh, mystery box over there. Oh, somebody else came in and said they already dropped. Let's see if I can rescue them. So I'm about to hit uh, round 30, which is pretty good. I managed to get up to uh, killing the boss in round 28 by myself, which I'm kind of proud of myself for making it that far. <laughs> it's not very often I even get past round 25. So I guess I'm getting better at the game. I did, did well this time. I wish I could have kept going, but I had a I had a doctor's meeting. I had to leave at round 32. I couldn't finish up the game. Unfortunately, I would have set myself a new high round if I could have stayed. This guy here too, uh, Exit Panther, he's, he's pretty good too. Exit the, uh, trying to get a look at his name. <laughs> he's pretty good too. You see K just knows exactly what to do with these zombies and stay away from them. Oh, they did actually go down once. I was surprised. I didn't think they did. I just wanted to save these zombies. I, I'm thinking the other player could revive them if I dragged the zombies off. But the other player left them there. I had to run back up and, and revive her. I couldn't believe the other player wouldn't revive her. Re revive her. That was pretty rude. So I came back up here and revived Kay. And I'm trying to keep these zombies away so they have time to go to the box. And uh, rebuild walls or whatever to get points. But... So, I, mean, I didn't realize that they were out of points, so they came back down and killed the zombies. They didn't have enough points to open the box anymore, so... That's okay, I just let them kill them so they can get the points. So, I'm going back up in my perch, back up in the upstairs room. To get myself set up with my browning and my uh, Mr. Wick. Here for round 30. So it was 28, so 31, we're going to get the bosses. And since there's two other people in the game, we end up with two bosses. Which is really wild, but we ended up managing to take them both down. Without dying. <laughs> so round 30. And there's three of us, I think enough, at least one more player comes in. It could be why we ended up with two bosses. So I'm trying to let them shoot as much as possible so they can get points. I'm just kind of backing them up. And since they're doing the killing here, I'm going to reload. <coughs> it's an insta-kill, so we can do some knifing here. <coughs> Try to keep some of the zombies off the back over there. Just hitting the mystery box, try to get us off a better gun, which is what you gotta do when you come in here at a high round. Get whatever points you can to hit the box and get a good gun. Yeah. 
try to take them out from here. <laughs> Should use my Mr. Wick. The Browning doesn't have the range that Mr. Wick does. What do they call it now? The M19 gutter? Gotta rebuild the spawn. The zombies are back really quick. Buy me some more bouncing baddies. It's going to take three to take down a zombie now. <laughs> Since they're shooting them up out there, I'm going to reload. You get more and more zombies every round, and they're tougher and tougher. Let them get some kills again. I'm just going to try to back them up. Provide some support so they can get some points. <clears throat> Every time they got to reload, they run back up here. <laughs> One of them's got the LSAT, you can see. Which is really, as far as the big guns go, that's my favorite because it holds more ammo. I'm about to run out of, am run out of ammo on my Browning. I can only reload it. One more time, and it's not a full reload. You had to reload that. I don't know if any of them have any colas yet, like the speed cola, so... I think Kay may have got the speed cola ready, because uh, she reloaded that gun pretty quick. Uh-oh. Stood there too long. can't see her gun. <laughs> oh, one stuck up behind me. I love Mr. Wick. <laughs> it's a great gun. I just wish they fixed the uh, laser sight. Get it to line up with the uh, with the crosshairs. So you can use it to actually aim. But you can't use it to aim. Especially off in a distance like this. I gotta use that little dot. You see that? I've got to use the little dot to aim, not the, not the laser sight. If I shoot the laser sight, I'll miss. Take down those zombies to uh, help protect her. Okay, next round we're going to get double... Double bosses coming after us. This is it. I'm gonna get myself all reloaded with what little ammo I have left. I've got a full a full stash of ray gun ammo, which is great. Which I'm really gonna need. Gotta close these spawns. Here they come. Dual bosses. We're gonna have two of them this time, I believe. Getting some splash damage. Yep, there's two of them. Two of them came in. Just gotta keep running. Even though there's more people in here, if you hang around, try to help out other players at a high round like this, and try to revive them with those two bosses coming after you, <laughs> you'd be dead. <laughs> you gotta keep running. Now I'm gonna try to get back up there and revive the other player here as quick as I can, or when I can. We just had a uh, just had a bomb, so I think I can get up there and revive them. I don't know where the bosses are though. I gotta know where they are. There's two of them. You see that? Shoot them through the window here. They both, they shot out their plungers to try to get me. <laughs> now I got a chance I can go revive the other player here. And I follow the same routine, the same path to try to get away from the zombies and get away from the boss. Get in some shots while I can. Gotta reload. There's another player in the game now. Didn't see them come in. 
try to get them on their feet. Like anybody that can help <laughs> shoot and kill the zombies and kill the bosses is what we need. I don't know where they are, so I'm just going to keep running and dropping down trying to get out of there. There's one right there. Damn, I almost ran right into it. <laughs> Fortunately for me, I went after another player. I came dying, close to dying so many times in this, in this particular round. I think we got one of them. I'm not sure. Gotta get that zombie out of the way here. Let's see if I can get down and revive. Someone's trying to revive them. Gotta take out the zombies. The less zombies there are. Oh, one of them died. You see the... Uh, what's left of their... Uh-oh. Uh I'm kind of trapped here. I better get out of here. Oh man, I can't believe I didn't die. That was so close. I've got to kill some zombies and go rescue some of these other players here. Oh, somebody got up. The other players are helping me live. That's great. So this is going to be about it. I'm going to have to uh, quit because I can't stay any longer. I had an appointment. I have to uh, have a meeting with my doctor. Got a little health issue going on that I hope isn't going to be serious. I have to find out here in the near future. Get some more tests done. I have fun with Mr. Wick on the way out here. Getting low on ammo on Mr. Wick. Down to only 60 rounds left. I love how you can shoot way off. You just lose, use that that little spot. Don't use the like I kept saying. Don't use the laser sight because it's not lined up properly. Just keep using that sight. Someone else is down. I hope I get them in the time. Everybody else keeps dropping. <laughs> That's the bad thing about high rounds like this. Once you drop and you lose your perks, you lose your uh, your juggernaug, you can, you can forget about staying alive. You go down really quick. And that came so close to dying so many times. So I did. I managed to get all the way up into round 32 on this video. I wasn't sure when I ran out of time. But um, because the time was running out on me for my appointment, I had to leave. I think this may be the highest amount of points I've ever had in the game, too. 124,000 points. I was telling him I'm almost completely out of ammo. <laughs> I was like, what the hell am I going to do? I'm going to have to go to the mystery box and get a new gun and get it packed. Which I ended up doing. I mean, it was only the, the M1... Um, what's it called? M1 something machine gun. It was just a little machine gun I ended up getting. Oh, this other guy's down again. I don't know if I want to risk going to save him yet. Since I'm so low on ammo. I know my ray gun's really low too. The other guy's got him up. That's good. But someone else came in again. Someone else is down below. I think I can get them. I switch my ray gun, take out these zombies if I can. Gotta be careful of splash damage. Splash damage almost got me again. <laughs> Gotta run off and reload and regroup. But anyway, um, this is about the end of the video. I appreciate y'all watching. This was a, a pretty fun, intense game. And I uh, hope some of my pointers help you all out. Uh, especially with fighting the boss. Just remember to keep running. Don't stand still for too long. It gives him time to catch up to you or hit you with his grappling hook. You don't want to. You don't want to take that chance. Just run. As soon as he gets lined up with you, get out of his line of sight because he'll shoot that. Uh, he'll shoot that suction cup out there and grapple you and bring you right in. If you stay in a direct line of sight with him, so you gotta keep running. Get out of his line of sight. Anyway, if you like the video, give a thumbs up share it with friends um subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and i'll try to get back to doing some more gaming videos so thanks again for watching appreciate it bye